YouTube. In this video, I'll be showing you how do you get legendary charts in the game and how do you solve them basically. So how do you basically solve treasure charts? Um, first thing you want to do is if you want to get a legendary chart, the easiest way to get them is actually doing a bounty. And you want to first make a rival. So the way you make a rival is you want to fight a uh, a person from like level 20 so for example Henson so here it will show you where they were last at and if they have a rival or not this one doesn't have a rival and the way you make them a rival is you actually have to fight them multiple times and you have to make sure you have a bounty on them if you kill them without having a bounty that's actually just killing them and they might get like if you kill them on the last level they're, they they'll get executed which just deletes them I already have a rival and this is Pew, my famous rival and as you can see here, a known rival of Archie Blaze has been sighted frequently hunting them down. So basically, we both fight a lot and every time I do a bounty, she doesn't die, like, she doesn't get executed, you can like repeat her, you can repeat the bounty again and again. And here it says where she is last located. And you want to fight your rival because the rivals are the ones that drop the really good uh, charts. So this one, it says, last sighted one day ago at a white summit. So you want to first uh, get the bounty hunting. And as you can see, I got a poster. And now you want to go that. Even though she's a level 130, I actually beat her when I was like around level 50, level 60 by the use of this gun. So. Don't be scared about the bounties, you just have to play very smartly against them. And she is currently at White Summit, which is around here. That's where she is located. So I'm going to be heading there right now. There's also multiple other ways to get the legendary charts or just treasure charts in general. You can open scroll chests. You can get them from doing quests, I'm pretty sure. I think there's like some rewards, maybe. You can get them from saving the people from the ocean. For example, this person right there. So like, let me just go to it. Uh, they're pretty rare to be honest, but they're all, they can also give some charts. Getting a legendary chart from them is very rare, but it is possible. And it's also possible to get legendary charts from, let's say a scroll chest. So as you can see, this is a castaway. Depending on the level, that's what their loot is. So, just save this person. Uh, like I was saying, you can just save this person. Yep. And the next island you go to, which has a town, uh, basically, uh, she will give you a reward. And one of those rewards might just be a legendary chart. Or just, you know, a rare chart, exotic chart, depends. But right now we're going to do bounty hunting, which is basically a guaranteed way of getting really good charts from rare to exotic to legendary. There's three types and they're pretty good. So as you can see here, I'm about to drop this person, the castaway off at uh, this place here. And this time I got a butterfly fish, but Sometimes you'll get uh, charts depending. It's just it's completely random. But let's head to the person. Let's head to the location of my rival now. So as you can see, I'm at the place now. This is called the White Summit, and my bounty is located here. So we can get up here, and she can be anywhere on the island. You just have to be a bit cautious. Uh, you want to find the bounty first before you attack it because otherwise you will have the advantage. Uh, let's see. Sana is pretty small, so... Uh, that is not her. Mm. Ah, there, there she is. So Richie's right there. He has silver chest, I'm gonna get that first, but... To fight her, you can use literally anything. I would suggest to do range because you take way less damage, but and if you really want to go up close, you can. Uh, they don't actually do that much damage on your max level, even though they're level 130. And same goes for if you're level 60 as well. 
but just when you're, doing, when you're level 60, you want to play it quiet. You want to play it safe and just dash a lot. Another thing, because this is a small island, it's going to be much more difficult, but on bigger islands, you can easily dodge them. First, I'm going to take this. As you can see, she has found me, and battle begins. This. Where is she? Ow. Get back here. What? Are you serious? Oh, come on. This is messy. Smaller places are very messy to play around with. Oh. When in doubt, immediate doubt. Where, where did she go? Why can't I? He's nearly dead already. I'm gonna range. Where did she go? Hello? Miss Pew? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, guns are just over overpowered in this game. Come on. There we go. And as you can see, I got a legendary chart. Like, just like that. It's that easy to get one. But, it's a fair fight. I got to half health. And this is where the fun begins. So, how do you solve this? Basically, the treasure charts are actually basically like uh, riddled, riddled maps and uh, you have to find out where this where this thing leave, leads to. So legendary charts have five parts. Common charts have one part only, so there's only one treasure. Uh, uncommon has two, rare has three, exotic has four, and legendary has five. So it goes up tier by tier. And this is the first chapter of it. So the first portion of my treasure is at Windrow Island, atop a cliff overlooking the sea and buried in the ground on the west southwest edge of the island. So first you want to go to the island first is Windrow Island and I have all the islands unlocked and that is here which is quite a far bit away but it's gonna be worth it to finish this. So let's start heading there if I can and yeah I'll see you guys in a bit. We reach the place we have to go, and now it comes a tricky part. Uh, first, I want to park this closer, and and not damage it. Mm. Perfect. Okay. So you want to park it actually. You want to park your ship really close because you're gonna need it actually to be really close. So now, now comes the tricky part. First, uh, you have to read this whole thing. So. The first portion of my treasure is at Windrow Island, which is where we are, atop a high, atop of a, a cliff overlooking the sea and buried in the ground on the west southwest edge of the island. Now, the main parts are cliff overlooking the sea, so that means it's on the edge. Buried in the ground, that means it's not in sand, it's on dirt and ground. Dirt or ground, I mean and the, the, the direction so on the west southwest edge of the island so west uh, people might get confused on okay if it's just southwest it's it's pretty easy to see so it's just southwest I like that but here it says west southwest southwest that means it's between west and southwest so you want to make a line like this and that if you want to do, be really complicated, uh, you can like do something like uh, this. Put the compass on the thing and then from that you can figure out which way it's going. So west, southwest from the center of the island. That is around uh, west south. So that is like basically in this area. So it's on the edge, right? So it's around this three areas. And we are on the other side, so let's just go to the other side. So now I'm on the other side of it, and it, as I, like I said, it's around these three spots because that is where west southwest is. So it's like you know, so it's like that part, it's west southwest. So around these three spots, you want to be very careful with it, and. 
now you want to get a shovel you have to make you make you have to make sure you have a shovel and the gold shovel the golden shovel is the best shovel in the game so you want to use that you might as well just take some treasure while you're at it okay the way you find it actually is we now know the area it's at right so we know it's like it's like around this area it's on the edge so it's like around the perimeter of the island you now want to dig around now this might take some time depending on the size of the island but eventually eventually you will find it it's not guaranteed it might take you 30 minutes it might take you a few seconds but you just have to do it. There's there's no shortcut to this. And like that, I just found it. This is the first chapter of this treasure chart. And this is a great open chest. I'm just gonna show through all of this. And basically the the final part of the treasure chart gives ten treasures and all the other chart and all the other parts gives five each. And you get a red bronze chest from it. So Great weapon chest, I got a Revenant War Shield, this one, I got a Revenant Great Sword, ingredients, and a food crate, and this. Now, this is pretty far from the boat, but if you have multiple chests, do not pick them up. Leave them here, and then we can bring your boat back when you can. Uh, I'll just take this because it's just one, and I can take this to the, to the boat pretty easily, so I'll just do that. As you can see, I'm now at my boat. And get in as well. So now this is a red bond chest. It can be opened by shepherd NPCs, which are located in towns. Uh, if, I can, if I can show it, yeah, there. So that is a shepherd NPC. You can just go there and open it. Pretty simple. And they're found in Ravenna, Shell Island, uh, Sailor's Lodge. Uh, what else? Uh, Silverhold, oh, I would bring caverns, uh, Halo Town, Frostmill Island, and you know the, the islands that have towns. That's where you can find. It. Place it down, and now we go to the next part, which is at Ravenna. Ravenna is the worst one to get because of the sheer size of it. So this is a good learning thing for you guys. Um, I have spent probably like. A lot of time in Ravenna in some of these charts they are not easy to do but nonetheless it's still worth it to do to do them either either way you might face some troubles but it's worth the trouble they're gonna face at this one uh, you want to see where you have to head first before you head to the island because the island is open so I've left my second portion of my treasure buried in the ground on the east southeast edge of the island east southeast edge that means it's around if i can position it like uh there so around this area so it's on the edge that means it's on the perimeter because it's a big island you have to dig a lot but yeah that 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 that's it okay i'll see you guys there so now we're almost there and this park it here, that would be nice. Perfect. Okay. So, like I said, east southeast edge. So that is around right in front of me basically. If I get lucky, that would be really nice. Uh let's see. Dig here, nothing. So the way you want to dig is actually pretty simple. So you see like these different parts. So like this is one grass part, and this is another elevation. So these are all different parts basically and uh, you want to dig on each part just once and if it's a big part like this you want to dig on like all four corners of it basically i can dig i'm lagging and yeah so it's on an east edge it can be up here it, it it's not always accurate even though if it says like on the east southeast edge of the island it is not 100 percent accurate so you have to dig everywhere you can dig a lot of dug here so let's see here nope is it here nope can open this is it maybe here nope is it here nope 
Damn, uh, this is getting worrying. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's read this again. <laughs> east, southeast edge of the island. So that's east, that's south, southeast, east, southeast. So. Oh god, this is not gonna be fun. And it didn't say sand. It says ground. So that means it is not in the sand. It is in the ground. So you have to be wary of that. Let's see if it's here. Uh, it could... It's a range between east and southeast. So it's between that big range. So it can even be like all the way up there or even there. So you really have to look for it. And the bigger the island, the worse. I got the worst one, which is Ravenna. And yeah, uh, I'm just going to time lapse this for you guys to see how tedious this can be. found it and it is nowhere near the edge but yeah so as you can see it's in a range it's more east than it is uh east southeast but like i said bigger the island the worse it is but i found it the way you want to do that is you just want to dig where you've not digged before you never want to dig in the same place twice because then you'll just get confused so that's what i did so i just dug one by one i went all the way around i dug this place dug here and then I dug here so you want to go more and more inland and then as you can see I found it so that's how you do the bigger islands same goes for the smaller ones but those are much faster the bigger ones are the worst ones to be honest to do and there's a red bronze crate testing there's another silver chest silver chests are one of the good ones and the goldens golden chests are the best ones because they they give three guaranteed items and one is done so i just take this and yeah uh i'm not gonna submit these yet i'm gonna submit i'm gonna submit all the red bronze crates red red bronze chests that you get at the end of the treasure chart so you'll see how much how many red bronze chests bronze seal chests what red bronze i played too much uh, island uh how many bronze chests that you can get from this one credit card. So let's see what the next area is. At Shell Island, a few paces east northeast from the center, part of my part of my treasure can be found buried in the ground at around sea level. So there's three things. There's edge, there's overlooking the sea, and there's there's a few paces and there's halfway. So these are the three ones that we found. So overlooking the sea and uh, edge are basically the same. Overlooking is like I think a bit. It's the most closest to the edge, which is weird. And edge is not on the edge. It's actually a bit far from the edge, which is really weird. Overlooking sea is the most close to the edge, and then a few paces is actually almost at the center of the island. So. These ones are the easiest to do. So let's just go to Shell Island, which is located around northwest of uh, north. I mean, west northwest of Shell Island. So I'll just see you guys there. As you can see, we are now at Shell Island. Uh, yep, Shell Island. And what the heck? <laughs> what just happened? Uh, boat, boat, please. Okay, let's uh, stop here, park it properly, yep, you want that to come up, and so, at Shell Island, a few paces, paces east northeast from the center, part of my treasure can be found buried in the ground at around sea level, so again, there's three, three keywords, east northeast, in the ground, and sea level, so, Let's see where that leads. Uh, so the center of this island is actually not this. It's actually like that. So that is the 
your center so you do the crisscross and whatever and you find that it's actually not at the top of this mountain it's around around that part there so if i just get up there and now i'm at the center of the island and now you want to head what was it east northeast so that is east northeast that is around if i look at north which is that way you can see on the compass here that is north so east northeast so that is east that is northeast that direction is oh no this direction is east northeast if i read that correctly yep and a few paces means it's very close to the center so what you want to do is actually just start digging from the center slowly but surely you will get there so well, this might take a bit of while a bit of time to find but uh it usually is pretty fast so if you see so it did say around at around sea level so which is usually not the case but let's just see nope again if i'm hitting the right way yep uh it doesn't look so good maybe it's down here nope here yep yeah so a few paces is like you have to just walk a bit but that is yeah so that is north in between northeast and east so it's in within uh around this range so and it is there so yeah found it and this one it's a red bronze trait i mean what red bronze let's keep saying red bronze there's a coefficient three yes. nope and that another graven a great sword can i get something else at this point great armor chest Ooh, enchanted stuff another silver chest pretty good Ooh, strong sellers boots and old flint lock and last one another silver chest and a wooden rod and ooh, topaz so that's all of galley basically and you can take the, the, the bronze seal chest said it correctly this time and you wanna you can't climb you can only climb the boat but climbing boats is pretty risky because there's sharks what is a gold chest underwater uh let me just take that first i can uh there we go oh attack speed and an arm so yeah gold chest gives like three items together so it's pretty good and then now we have three chests because we don't see parts. Now, part of my treasure is at Boston Island. So, Boston Island is one of the starter islands. So, pretty far. So, I'll see you guys there. As you can see, we are now at Frost Mill Island. Uh, let's just park. Let's see. Let's just park around out here. That is way too risky. Make sure you have, like, bit of land to go to yeah like that and uh, let's see part of my treasure can be a little part of my treasure is at Postmill island atop a high cliff dig in the ground dig, dig in the snow about halfway northwest this is good so i have found all all four different things halfway northwest for the center of the island this one it doesn't say north northwest west south this is just northwest i mean it is straight on almost and it's halfway so that means if you look at frost mill said northwest halfway northwest so that means it's around that because it did say atop a high cliff and frost mill has a lot of like like uh mountainous places so and it's not all the way out that means it's like from the center of the map halfway should be around there which is right where we are so can just get up there this is gonna be a tedious climb uh let's see okay now i can just do this 
da da ding. Uh, one more. And there we go. Some enemies, which are like level 4. And it should be about above this. Uh, let's see, dig here. Nope. Up a high clip. Can't stick on that. Uh, northwest. So it should be like around one of these. Uh, go away. Whoops. <laughs>
Uh, let's see. So north, northeast, which is around, let's say, around this part. Uh, there's an enemy. Uh, Mr. Uh, Navy Tech. I nearly just said Arcan Government. Like an adventure style. Uh, will you leave me alone? I'm recording a video here. Just go away. Thank you. Uh, can I recharge my power? Thank you. Okay. Uh, fly up. Uh, not dash out. Don't get eaten by a shark. There we go. Oh, treasure. No, treasure. Okay. Uh, north, northeast, which is around. Wait, did it say halfway? Halfway. So basically, wait. Atop a high cliff. So it's around that. Maybe even that. Let's just see. Probably not this, but let's just dig nonetheless. If I can stay up there, that is. Uh, let's see, here? Nope. Uh, what about here? Oh! Oh wow, that was easy. So, right around there. Yeah, that's what I said. Let's dig this out. So as you can see, there's nine treasure, which is, is, is like, I mean, there's ten treasure, this is the, there's nine remaining. This is one. Uh, can I take this out, please? This is two. This is three. This is a four. That's a five. That's a six. That's the seventh one. That's the eighth one. That is the ninth one, and finally, the tenth. And as you can see, you have solved a legendary treasure chart. And you get three sealed uh, bronze chests. So, from the total, if I can bring it down here. Uh, yeah, so basically, four plus three, you get seven sealed bronze chests from one legendary ch chart with extra chests that can be silver gold or even like elite weapon chests and stuff so in my opinion it's 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 honestly really fun to do it even if it sometimes takes time to do but uh it's, it's just you know exploration and finding where the treasure is it's honestly very nice to do it and you can use this to level up also. I have leveled up from around like what? 100 level level 95 or even level 80 basically. I have leveled up to level 95 by just doing treasure hunts. Which is, it's insane how much XP this actually gives. So you can just do this to like uh, uh, get your level up. Also why do I have my air and facial hair on I'm supposed to not have them on I'm supposed to be headless okay and last one and the reason you don't, you don't want to pick them up is because you don't want to pick them up and place them back down is because they can despawn but when you have them when you dug them up they don't despawn until you pick them back up so that's why you want to do that and you want you just, you just want to be really fast with it and you can do that with friends also uh, your friends can dig up your treasure chart if they're in your party, so be nice. And you can dig up your friend's one, like I did. I did that before. Uh, I basically, we were looking for my legendary treasure chart, but then on accident we found my friend's one, and we hadn't solved my one. But my one was like just a few like meters away, basically, which is it's really lucky, but it can happen. Uh, let's see if we can find 
uh, what's the closest town to this? Uh, Peloton. So let's just cash this in at Peloton, basically. Put it around. Let's try to land it here. Look at the amount of things we just got. And there we go. So now, let's check uh, how what stuff we get from these seven chests. We're gonna get them pretty stuff. We're at 703. Let's just see how much we can get. So, number one. We got a light rugged hull. So this is the last drop is like one of the most uh, rarest thing you can get. Uh, you, you're guaranteed to get a sale from these, so yeah. Uh, number two. An iron blade ram, that's pretty good. Uh, you can, there's a chance of you getting a rare weapons or even a scroll, a magic scroll, which is called Pulsar. I can show it right now. Uh, not that, that thing right there. A rare spell scroll, Pulsar. That's the only way to get it. You can get it from the, these uh, bronze seal chests. And this is not the only way to get the bronze seal chest, by the way. Uh, there's multiple ways. Uh, there's you can you can destroy ships. Those can drop it. There's another one. Second to last one. And then finally, this is the last one. And just like so, we've done a legendary chart. And yeah, that was I uh, didn't. Actually, this was one of my fastest legendary charts that I've done. Uh, sometimes it takes an hour to do them. Sometimes it takes thirty minutes. This one it took like maybe twenty minutes, which is pretty fast. Obviously, you can. Uh, you know, go after the pirate ship, basically more, more, more so the fortified ones. They dropped three red bronze, I mean, three bronze seal chests, but you don't get any other chests with them, so that's the cost of it. And you also have to spend your, you have to spend money on your ship to repair it while it's fighting, and on cannons. But other than that, uh, this is basically just getting free stuff, and you just have to know how to do it, which I have done, which I knew how to do it, and. A lot of a lot of people know about them, and this is a rare one. It's only three parts, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and check out this top right video, whatever there is. Uh, I'll be making a cooking video soon, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. How do you wave? Bye. Wait, cinematic wave. Goodbye.